Hey, you're just in time. Woohoo! It's October and it's comfort food time. And we have been blessed with a beautiful elk roast from our good friends Bob and Tammy just up the road from it. Obviously we're gonna have elk pot roast and I'm gonna show you my quick easy recipe. We're gonna be cooking this in a Dutch oven today, super low and super slow with some charcoal, but right now we're just gonna prepare all the veggies and brown our meat. Now elk is super, super lean, so I always put a little fat, and of course, everything goes good with bacon. All right, while the bacon's cooking, I'm gonna season our elk roast. And I actually love using the Montreal steak seasoning and coat it real well, and then we're gonna brown it in the bacon fat. All right, the bacon is just about done. I've got a nice coat of bacon fat in here. Now let's brown this roast. All right, the roast is all done browning. Kind of, this is kind of just what we're looking for. And now we are going to add in the onions and the garlic. Moly, that smells good. What is it about bacon, onions, and garlic cooked together? God, it just smells so, so good. All right, the onions are getting nice and brown. And I've got a, probably about a cup and a half of some really good red wine. And we're going to deglaze our cast iron pot to get all these flavor crystals up off the bottom. Now for some seasoning. So I got approximately a tablespoon of rosemary and thyme. I wish I was using fresh, but I do not have fresh, but dried will work. All right, the next step is better than bouillon. If you haven't used this, guys, this is concentrated beef bouillon. And I gotta tell you, this stuff is so, so good. This is gonna be about two tablespoons worth. And then what I kind of call one of my secret ingredients, little Worcester sauce. Again, this is highly concentrated flavors. And then I also add in tomato paste, but I also add in some barbecue sauce because tomato paste doesn't really have a lot of flavor. You can use any kind of barbecue sauce you like. Okay, now for a can of tomato paste. Look at that. So in here guys, I've got rutabagas, carrots, mushrooms, 
and celery. I'm not gonna be putting any potatoes in here because I'm actually gonna make mashed potatoes to go along with this. So now I'm just gonna put in my veggies. And we're gonna grab our roast. And then I'm gonna add a whole lot more wine to this. And then we're gonna put it on the charcoal. And guys, what we're looking for, remember, it was low and slow. We want around that 250 degrees, 275 tops. So I'm gonna be putting about 15 briquettes on the top and about five on the bottom. And I'm gonna let this cook upwards of probably five hours. I want this completely to be falling apart. All right, like I said, I've got about five underneath and about 10 on top, and that's gonna give me about 275, 250. I always keep a picture or screenshot on my phone. Um, I just get on Dutch oven cooking, and they actually have a chart that tells you how many briquettes to use on the size of Dutch oven, and they actually will give you approximate temperature, especially if you're baking, and, and it's a nice equation. And I always keep it on my phone. It's been about five hours. I just put the potatoes on for our mashed potatoes. Let's take a look. 